Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today I want to go over how to use this free font manager from Creative Fabrica. I'll show you all the cool things it can do. Um, and it's free, so that's awesome. Okay, so the first thing you'll want to do is head over to creativefabrica.com. Uh, you do have to sign up for an account. It's free, totally free. Just put your email in, sign up for your free account, and then you'll have access to this font manager. You'll come here to Tools, and you'll go to Font Cloud, and that's going to open up the Font Manager. Open Font Cloud. Okay, so what this does, first of all, it gives you access to all of your downloaded fonts. Um, you can easily scroll through and see what you've got over here. You can see a preview of what each font looks like. Um, you can preview you know, text if you don't know which font you want to put in your project. Um, you can just type in you know, your, your text that you're wanting to use and you can scroll through and see what it looks like in each font, which will help you out with your projects knowing exactly which one you want to use for which project and what's going to look best. Uh, something else that's really cool is a lot of the fonts that you um, get, that you purchase, or that you download have what's called a private use area, a PUA, and a lot of times you don't even know. Um, let me see here. Let's go to this Delicia font. You can see right here it says these PUA areas are highlighted. So you're scrolling through and you're like, yeah, I've got all this. I know what all of this looks like. No big deal. Whoa, okay. Here's things I didn't know I had. This isn't the normal G that comes with this font. Whoa, look at these little hearts that I can add on. You know how when you go to buy your font, you see all these really pretty embellishments and then you get the font and you're like, how did they do that? I don't have access to that. It's in the hidden private use area. And this font manager unlocks that hidden private use area for you. Um, let's see. You can preview this PUA in the text if you want. So let's see here. I'm going to, um, let's say, I'm going to copy this to the clipboard here. I just clicked it and it copied it. I'm going to come up here, paste. That's not the one I wanted. Hold on. I want these little hearts at the beginning of the word. Here we go. Okay, so I want this J. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to come up here and paste. And then I want Y with the little heart at the end. Where's the Y? There it is. Click it to copy. Come up here, paste. So that's what Joy would look like if I was using the PUA for this font. I can come up here to another font. Um, let me see here. What about this Marisha font? Okay, so those particular ones aren't going to work because this one has a different PUA area. But I can come and find what I want. The PUA area on this one isn't all that great. Let's try a different font. This Samantha font has tons and tons and tons of PUA, like ridiculous amounts. And because that's so small, I can use my font size here to make everything bigger. Um, let's do Joy here in this one. Lots of scrolling. Which Joy do I want? Or which J? So many to choose from. Let's try this one. And now let me go find a Y. Okay, how do we want to end this? Again, this font, this Samantha font, is crazy ridiculous with what all it has. Let's end it with, I don't know, we'll try that. Who knows how that's going to look. 
that does not look good at all. So we try something else. Let's try one of these with the end of it coming up over the letter. Let's do this. That looks better. That looks a lot better, actually. So that's another great thing about this free font manager. You can play around with these all right here before you even you know, get it into your project so you can see exactly how it's going to look. Um, something else that's really cool is a lot of the fonts have shortcut codes that you can use and you don't really even know how to access them unless you download you know, the Word document or the PDF document that comes with your font when you buy it, but most people don't bother to read all that. Okay, so let me find a good one that's got short codes. Ah, this one. Everyone loves this font, the I Love Glitter font. It's awesome, 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 and it's got really easy, quick, shortcut codes that you can put in so that you don't have to come copy and paste your letters. Okay, so these are the basic ones that everyone knows about. You've got the, the solid heart, the empty heart. You can get the actual little heart up there. Here's some private use area stuff that you probably didn't know about. You can get all these little extras. You can get double hearts, triple hearts. Um, you can add curlies to your letters. You can make the letters actually into a heart. So there's a lot of PUA stuff on the I Love Glitter font that um, you know, not everybody knew about. But to get your short codes, um, let's type in my name. So there it is, just in normal you know, normal font. And let's say I wanted to add, um, I wanted to add this little line at the end of it. So by clicking it, I copied it to my clipboard. I'm going to come up here, control V and it pastes it. But look what happened. It gave me this little bracket. Okay. Well, you see, I want to add one to the beginning and come up here, control V, paste it. Oh, I got another little bracket. That lets me know if I just type the brackets, I will have the little embellishments that I want. So I'm going to come in. I'm going to type a left bracket. Then I'm going to type my name. And I'm going to type a right bracket. Those were my shortcuts. I didn't have to copy and paste anything. Just typing those brackets put it all in for me. Okay, what if I want to put my husband's name in here and I want to do this little solid heart in between it? Okay, well, I'm going to copy that solid heart, come up, paste it. Ah, it's just a solid line there. Okay, and then I'm going to put my husband's name and another open bracket. Whoops, open bracket. <laughs> there we go. But now I know that this solid line is going to give me the solid heart. Well, what about if I want the open heart? I'm going to click it to copy. I'm going to paste it in. Oh, an underscore gives me the open heart. So, I'm going to erase all of this. Open bracket, my name, underscore, my husband's name, open bracket. And I've got everything I want. Hmm, what if I want to add this little heart? Okay, I clicked it. So it copied to my clipboard. I'm just going to come up here. Ah, okay, that's just all right, now I know how to add little hearts. I can come in here and I can type the asterisk. Helps if I hit shift first. And now I've got little hearts in the front and the back. So that's how you can learn your shortcut codes because once you copy them and put them into your preview, it's going to show you what to type to get your shortcuts. Um, another really cool thing about the Creative Fabrica Font Cloud Manager is that it comes with a ton of storage, like just a ton. Let me see if it can show you what I've got. It comes with um, two gigabytes, which is enough for 10,000 plus fonts. Let's see. But there are ways of getting more. There we go. So I still have used this tiny little bit of everything that I have available to me. 
and I've got what well, I have 28 fonts in here. So anyways, that um, is just a quick tutorial of how you would use this font manager, what makes it super handy. Um, if you do want to put a word, say you are typing um, typing out something and you have got all of your special little characters that you want in it, let me go find Samantha. I'm going to make this all crafty here. Okay, so here it is all normal. Let me go get a fancy C. Nope, not D, C. Which C do I want? Oh, well my name's kind of boring. There aren't any super fancy C's. I'll just use this one. And then let me go get a fancy L. There's just so much to choose from with this font. It is ridiculous. Let's try this one. Okay, so say that I want to, to use this. I'm just going to copy, control C. I'm going to open up my design space. Let me just start a new project here. Oh, it's wanting to be slow. Okay, text, paste. Ah, it didn't work. Okay, well, I was hoping that it would work that way, but how you get this into your design space, again, I'm going to come in, I'm going to type my name, and I'm going to come up here and switch it to my Samantha font. Okay, so here it is. I like to make it really big when I'm working with it. Drop my letter spacing down to zero to connect everything. It's still not quite connected, so I'm just going to lower it little by little. There we go. Now it's all connected. Now I will come over here, and I will go get the L that I want. I'm going to click it to copy it to my clipboard. Back to my design space. Delete the L, paste the new L. There it is. Okay. Now I'm going to go get the C that I wanted. Massive amounts of scrolling. I think it was what this one. I'm going to click it to copy to my clipboard. Come in here, delete that C, paste the C I had copied. Okay. Now because this L was so big, it's kind of spread apart, but don't worry about that. You just ungroup your letters, move it on over, and you can kind of tighten this up a little bit too. And if you wanted this T and A to be attached, you just scooch them over. And then you weld everything back together. And that is how you put it into Design Space. All right, guys, uh, that really is all there is to this font manager. It's pretty awesome, and it's free. So uh, go check it out. Oh, real quick, though, I did want to tell you about some other really cool things that um, Creative Fabrica has. Let me see if I can get up here to just regular. Okay, so... Um, they also have tons of free fonts you can get with your free membership. You come over here, you click the fonts, and you can see all of these free fonts that you can download. And they change, um, they change pretty often which fonts are offered in here, so check back regularly if you don't see anything that you really love. Um, you can get free SVGs. All of this is totally free with your free subscription. You can get free graphics. 
Um, some of this is really cool. They've got a lot of awesome mock-up generators. They've got some watercolor PNG type stuff. Just really all kinds of stuff. I could spend hours going through all the free stuff that they have. Um, let me see. If I type in script fonts, you can see I've got almost 7,000 script fonts. And they're not all free, just that freebie area had the free ones, but all of these are available for download. And when you download them, you get the commercial license, which lets you create anything you want with these fonts and sell it. You can't do that with the free fonts. Um, you're not technically allowed to sell anything that you make with the free fonts you download from like defont.com. But all of these include a commercial license. Most of them are crafter friendly, and you can see this right here says um, that it incorporates well with Cricut Design Space or Silhouette Studio, PicMonkey, Microsoft Word. It makes them really easy to craft with. Um, so you can get your plans. You can buy a monthly subscription for just fonts for $19 a month, and you can get unlimited font downloads with the commercial license. I mean, unlimited. There's like 10,000 fonts in here. And you can get as many as you want for free if you just pay your monthly subscription of like $19. Um, go to all the SVGs. I typed in Beach SVG. I mean, there's so many different things you could get. Let me type in, um, I don't know, Unicorn SVG. You'll get Unicorn Files. Um birthday SVG. You'll get these birthday things. Oh, how cute. <laughs> Little monster. Um, and all of this, if you just want access to the crafts, to the SVGs, you can also get unlimited SVG downloads. Let me see. Um, unlimited SVG downloads for uh, $12 a month. What else is something that we like to do? Whoops, ladybug. I don't even know if they, they do. <laughs> of course they do. I'm just typing in random things. You can see there's just so much that you can get. Um, with Creative Fabrica, they just have so many files and options. If you just want your SVGs, you can get the uh, crafts bundle for $12 a month, or you can bundle crafts and fonts for $23 a month and get your unlimited downloads that way. Or if you just want to go in for all access, which I love because watch. Whoops. I go in here and I get all these digital papers. Let me find a really like, let's see. I go in and I get all of these digital papers and I use them as backgrounds and I can create things like this for free because I had access to the backgrounds, I had access to the flowers, the unicorn horns. I got this font right here from Creative Fabrica. I created all of this because I have a monthly membership to All Access, which is uh, $29 a month, but I use it like every day. Anyways, I'm all done with my little, <laughs> my little runoff there about what else makes Creative Fabrica really cool. Go get your free subscription, get your free font cloud, and um, that's all I have for today. Thanks.